Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 39, and this is war number two, and we're going up against an alliance called, what is that, Agir Ebiler? I have no idea if I said anything bad, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see who they've banned. All right, Torch, Kitty, Ghost. Okay, Herc is global, globally banned. And Kingpin, all good. Let's do a spectate. Nobody's in here yet, although it is the weekend. Okay, yeah. All right, so we've got Mordo, who can be annoying. He really can be annoying. But um, I think I'll still uh, bring Gallon in. We've got Anti-Venom. Now, Anti-Venom... No, I don't think Anti-Venom is going to have a problem either. And I don't know who is going to take... Usually, Mad Martigan takes uh, that first node. And Dipper takes that one. Man, that Falcon can be annoying. All right, and we've got... Let's see, you two. Uh, Claire shouldn't have a problem with either one of these. Although I do sometimes like to bring in um, Nick Fury for Immortal Hulk. But no, Claire, Claire will do it. And Penny Parker. Interesting. Normally, Gallon um, is like the perfect counter for Penny, but I might still bring Nebula in. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know. Regeneration, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, uh, depends on what shape Gallon is in. I might, uh, I might fight her with Gallon. But, I'm going to bring Nebula anyway, just in case, because I believe Nebula can do that fight also uh, very well. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, going in with my regular team of Gallon, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Nebula. And let me tell y'all something. Streamlabs OBS updated, and now it's giving me crazy screens in the beginning. So let me know if anything seems off to you guys, any sound issues or whatever, okay? Uh, and then I'll address it. But anyway, so first fight up, we've got Mordo. As you know, or may not know, Mordo can be a pain to uh, fight. And uh, so I went into this uh, particular fight hoping that he would not act up, you know? And you know what I mean by act up. Sometimes he goes into that power game phase, and then when you try to do a heavy, he attacks. And he's not really supposed to do that, but he does it. All right, so as you can see, I'm doing medium light mediums. Uh, he doesn't have any armor up, so medium light medium is good for Gallon. And as you can see, Mordo is actually fighting and uh, throwing his specials very, very nicely. And see, he's waiting for me there, not biting. Mm -mm. And then I accidentally parried him there. And then you see here, I was trying to, uh, and then I, I just said, you know what, Never mind, Because uh, I was trying to get him to fire the special off. And then I looked at my power and I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just fire off that special three, you know? What else are you going to do? And look at that. He's very aggressive. Look at this. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. He's backing off everything. But Gallon don't care. Don't care at all. Boom. He did. So loving Gallon, especially on path three. Now, there are some defenders that uh, eventually give me some trouble. And you're gonna see that in one of the future uh, war videos. 
but anyway, next up, we've got Anti-Venom. Now, I don't really fight Anti-Venom often, so uh, I'm not as familiar with his um, animations. But I was pretty sure I could uh, gallon it. All right. So we've got all that glancing. I don't really care about all that. All I care about is that my planetary mass is going up. Now, if you'll notice, it's not going up a lot. And that is because of the glancing. So I'm like, okay, um, this is going to be a, 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 a longer fight. So I'm just doing medium light medium, so much glancing. Um, and I'm watching and I did uh, a heavy attack to activate and I wanted to see if this was enough. Not quite. I got impatient, you know, and I'm just like, okay, well, let's build some more up. So this fight, not hard, but annoying because I don't really like long fights. And even though this fight isn't really that long, it, it seems like all that glancing. Ugh. And then see, sometimes when I'm like backing off, trying to bait out a special, they get overly aggressive like that. They're like, boom, boom. And then they just attack real quick. And I'm just like, come on, man. Why are you special? Look at it. I'm like, why are you special? Finally, he fires his special. I'm like, good night. And I fired my special three. You know why? That can't be glanced. So next time I end up fighting uh, Anti-Venom, instead of firing off that special two, like I was doing, or a special one, I'm going to build up to a special three. That's it. Look at this. He's dead. He's a dead man walking. I don't want to get hit by his special three, though. Look at that. Boom. Done. Oh, man. That was longer than I like an uh, Alliance War fight to last. Very, very annoying, but I know how to deal with him next time. Just uh, build up to that special three and fire off my special threes. All right, so Mad Mardigan hadn't taken that mini yet, but then he did look like he had a little bit of trouble um, with that mini. And I am into... Let me see. I think I, I went all the way into special. Yeah, into a section um, three. Well, two. And I'm not too worried about this fight. Dr. Octopus, I was trying to figure out what trick, you know, what's going to make this fight annoying. Why did they put him here? And I do remember that he gets armor ups. So you need to have a bleed immune. And, uh, of course, Claire. Look at that. See the armor up? But it got nullified. So, no worry. And I think I pretty much stay in um, Curse of Blood in this fight. Yeah. Come on. Bait out. And I can evade the special two as well. But I really prefer not to. Now, that time, we didn't get rid of the armor up, but it went away. Uh, and so we're, we're doing good. He's almost done. And I usually try to bait the special one out. But look at all of that. All of that. And it wasn't a whole lot of damage. So I'm like, okay, okay. We're getting him down, but I can see why he might have been problematic for... Uh, some other champions, but Claire, Claire handled him very, very nicely. So not too worried about him on that node. Now, next fight is Immortal Hulk. And sometimes I like to bring in Nick Fury for Immortal Hulk and let the bleeds do their work and I can avoid dealing with his uh, Immortal phase. Uh, I don't think I avoided it this time. Now, he doesn't get, you know, an armor up or anything like that. So, I don't really have to worry about the uh, shock. But, unfortunately, you know, I do a lot of hits. 
so we're not going to be able to get him done quick you can see i went into curse of um hellfire uh hoping that i could get him down faster but then that happened i hit once and i looked up and was like ah too much and then i got clipped by him trying to trying to pay attention to too many things and i really don't like it when he goes immortal and then i have to deal with his special too because if i mess up i get stunned and the fight's over he's gonna wreck me that's that's happened to me i don't know how many times so i gotta be really careful bait out the special ones before i push him to uh his immortal or immortality phase and so here i'm just playing keep away fortunately it does not last too long and i still got clipped because i was looking up there trying to see when it ended tell you and uh he's almost done now and i don't want to get hit i don't want to get clipped i don't want to have anything happen to me and we finished it off yeah trying to look too much and let me tell you after he hit me he basically was like wake up and i woke up and focused on the fight to finish that off or else he would have put me to sleep for real all right now we've got penny now in um previous war i mentioned that nebula is a good option for penny well you're about to see uh just how good she is so even when she's on that node that immortal hulk was on uh nebula can handle penny uh no problem so it's the same thing that i do when i fight nimrod okay build up my shocks the only only person that you can't do stuff like that with are, are the cleansers and the um what do you call it uh shock immune champion so i'm pushing her back i have to hit into her block sometimes anyway um but i'm pushing her back so that i can build up and i don't get trapped in the corner all right and you can see here she's got less than a bar of power so i'm beating into her block and then i accidentally parry i didn't mean to parry her right there all right so i didn't do the double damage because i wasn't at uh two bars of power so i'm back to building it up again and then i push to a special two because her special one is really annoying i'd much rather deal with the special two but i have to be careful because when she does her special two it sometimes catches me and i'll see it and my instinct is to dash back and she will work me that's also happened many times to me all right so here we go got the shot and that time i was able to fire off the special two to finish the fight uh the fight would have been over much sooner had i not accidentally parried her uh earlier all right so that was it for my participation in the war and we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out how this war ended <laughs> And we're back. And as you can see, we won our second war of the season. So after the first war, we lost. Second war, we seem to have gotten ourselves together. And we did much, much better. Look at that. Much better. And uh, my boy Dipper Jones right there, MVP number one. Um, and congrats to DRB1 and Sir War. Also grabbing the um mvp spots but anyway that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching the video um trying to look here i think this war yeah it was a pretty close war you know not as close as some of the wars but it was a pretty close war uh but anyway take care hit the like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought and you all have a Bless day.